Hi everyone, this is Mr. Zikri. In this episode, we are going to study about YouTube. <clears throat> this YouTube is called also Manometer. This Manometer is used to a measure the density of unknown liquid. So, <clears throat> for example, here we have a first liquid, the blue one, and here's he, here's is the orange liquid, the second one. We don't know the density of the second liquid, for example, uh, as we know that, for example, this is water. So, to know, to find the density of the second liquid here, let's say that we draw a line of the same level, point A and point B. So, point A will have the same pressure at, as point B. So, as you know, above point A, there is a liquid with height of H1 and density of D1. If we add pressure of atmosphere at point B also there is pressure of atmosphere, we can cancel them. So at point A the liquid pressure of liquid A, at point B the liquid pressure of uh, liquid B. The pressure of A equal to pressure of B. H1 G1 times G liquid pressure and H here equal to H2 D2 times G liquid pressure of the second one we can cancel the gravity so we get that the height uh, 1 equal to density 1 equal to height 2 times density 2 pretty simple right for example what is the density of the oil so here's the oil here's the mercury so we have already draw the line so we just write down the point so pressure at point A equal to pressure at point B as you know that H1 D1 G equal to H2 D2 G and so G H1 25 centimeter times density of the oil you don't know equal to 2 cm times 13.6 so density 1 actually 2 times 13.6 27.2 over 1.088 gram per centimeter cubic cube. Next, what is the density of second liquid? This one with the same. Uh, way at the same level this is point a this is point b so h1 times d1 equal to h2 times d2 h1 is this one while h2 is this one 10 times 10 equal to 20 times d2 so 100 equal to 20 times D2. D2 is 100 over 20. D2 equal to 5 gram per centimeter cubic. Next. Question is from Ebdanas. Number 6, 2006. Pada gambar di bawah ini, kaki kanan diisi dengan air raksa, massa jenis 13,6 gram per 
cm3 sedangkan kaki kiri diisi dengan cairan yang tidak tercampur dengan raksa masa jenis cairan tersebut adalah baik kita gambar garis menunjukkan level yang sama oke okay. so this is point A this is point B this is H1 this is H2 so H1 times T1 equal to H2 times D2 remember the right part is mercury so this one is mercury H1 14 it times unknown equal to 12 times 13.6 so D1 equal to 12 times 13.6 over 14 let's use calculator 12 times 13.6 divided by 14 so D1 is 11.7 gram per centimeter cube. That's all. That's all for today. I hope you uh, study from this video carefully. I hope you enjoy this video. See you next time. Bye bye.